All right, our last two stops we're going to talk about are k and g. Again, made at the same place with the same manner, but uh, one is voiced and one is voiceless. So again, they're cognate pairs, and the k and g are made, um, well, we might talk about the glottal stop too, but the k and g are made um, the furthest back in the mouth, at the, uh, in the furthest back in the oral cavity at the velum, uh, the soft palate. And so k would be any k sound you hear. Lots of times I find myself writing a C um, when I'm transcribing and there are no C's in phonetics. So, um, so anyway, when we would transcribe a word like cat, Or, like you saw me transcribe popcorn in the last video, the k sound is transcribed with the k phoneme. G, same kind of idea. Bag, go, or in this case, that would be a diphthong. So you can look and transcribe those sounds. Now there is one more. Uh, plosive or stop in um, this manner of speech sounds and it's the glottal stop and it's really hard to uh, say it because it's usually you recognize it in the middle of word that you use a lot um, for example the word mitten <coughs> excuse me the word mitten m-i-t-t-e-n When we usually when we use it in a sentence, we usually say, um, "Don't forget your mittens, mittens." We don't really say mittens. Um, you know, Barbara. Uh, lots of the very proper speakers may say mittens, or maybe if you're in England, you might hear mittens. But around here in America, most of the time, we don't say mittens. We say mittens. That that idea of mittens stopping the airflow in the middle is that glottal stop jumping in. Children who have uh, cleft lip and palate uh, have speech sound disorders associated with having that kind of diagnosis. Um, lots of times we'll use a glottal stop in place of more anterior stops because they can't build up the oral air pressure to be able to make the p or the b so that it'll come out as a k the stopping of the airflow in the back of the glottis where the larynx is. So the glottal stop looks like that question mark without the dot in the bottom. So if we were to transcribe the word mittens, it would look something like that. Um, so because we're not saying mittens. Does that help clear up some of that? And those are your, those are your stops or your plosives. Next, we're going to move on to fricatives.